Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Hello, DJ. Hi, DJ. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. We're going to have um, Dr. Luis Humberto come in and join us around nine o'clock to share our recent results of a study that we participated in uh, over the last couple of years. And so we'll do that at nine o'clock. This first hour, I wanna give us time to continue working on our performance test for this week. And I wanna spend a few minutes again by showing you some examples, um, I'm looking at group or team one who have some really good questions here for each of the classes. Uh, just a few minor changes. And this is what I'd like for you in your own teams to look at your own questions and look for the same. Remember that we need to include three things in each question that we have listed in our Word document. What are those three things? It's reflective. All right, it should be reflective. So it should be something like, how do you feel? What do you think about this, right? Uh, what else? What's the second thing that should be in every question? Related with the technology. Related to technology. Every single question should mention a specific technology, and I would add the word specific. So maybe you name the platform, maybe you name the app, right? Um, maybe you name the website or websites that you're using for that class. So some of the technologies might be common. You might uh, might be common across the different courses. Maybe some of the technologies are going to be specific to the class, but try to name the specific technology. Okay, again, the platform, name the platform, name the app, name the website. Those are the three that come to mind uh, off the top of my head. All right, so it has to be reflective. It needs to be related to a specific ICT. And what's the third thing that each question in your list should have? It mentions a behavior. Right, it mentions a specific behavior. So if you're thinking about a strategy, instead of using the word strategy, maybe you use, you name the specific strategy you're referring to. For example, taking notes. Taking notes is a strategy. Uh, skimming is a reading strategy. Scanning is a reading strategy, right? M using the dictionary to look up words or look up vocabulary words is a strategy. It also is mentioning a specific ICT. So right there, you're doing two things at once. But notice when, for example, what strategies do you use to, to, uh, to keep everything learned, right? We want to instead offer a question like, how do you feel, right? Or what do you think about let's say using an online dictionary to help you learn new words in the, the reading class, for example. All right, so I mentioned a strategy, I mentioned a specific behavior, looking up key words when you're reading a new text maybe, right? Or maybe even writing down new key words in a notebook, that's another strategy. Whatever strategies that you talked about in class, what others, what any strategies that you use on your own, maybe your teacher hasn't mentioned any strategies and you're you're using or doing strategies on your own. Right? Those are the things that that you need to include. Try to include those in each question. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to give you some time this morning to continue looking at your questions keep talking about your questions. I'm going to try uh, very quickly here to go into each group and leave some additional comments. If you guys want me to join your group and discuss any of your questions, or if you need further clarification, 
we can also do that this morning as well. All right, so it's nine. It's 8.05 right now. And so what I'd like to do is continue with this activity. Do not rush into the round table. I really want to get our questions right before we begin the round table. And as we talked about before, just have a list just like this. I would have, um, I would have similar font types and sizes for your headings. Right, so I like how they have headings here. I would be consistent with the, the heading font type, and I would also be consistent with the questions, the font uh, style and type, just to be, make it a little bit more consistent. But from these list of questions, right, these are the potential questions. I don't think it's necessary to have a separate list of roundtable questions. These are your potential roundtable questions. Right, I, I don't even. I want you to to consider these questions as, as part of your discussion, but I don't want you to choose before you begin the roundtable uh, some questions and exclude others. I want you to consider the possibility of talking about any or all of these questions. It depends. It just depends on the conversation. So we don't want to limit. Our conversation in our round table we want it to be open to any of these possible questions that we're uh, that we're going to ask and that we're going to answer All right any questions guys about number one what we're talking about in terms of having a good question and number two the actual round table how to conduct the round table any questions No. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. Go ahead and uh, continue looking and discussing your uh, questions. I'm going to go as quickly as I can. Um, and I'm not going to check every single question. I'll, I'll leave a few comments and then expect that you take a look at what I mentioned and look at each of your remaining questions. To, uh, to check to see if they're complete. Again, I'm just checking to see that every question has those three things. It's reflexive, has a specific behavior mentioned, and a specific ICT. That's what I'm uh, mainly looking for for each of the questions. All right, so I'll go ahead and mute my mic, guys. We're going to come back about 8.50, more or less, 8.55. Um, we'll have just a few minutes break between our activity that we're doing now, and our discussion uh, of our research at 9 o'clock. Though we'll try to start right at 9 o'clock. Um, so just try to come back a few minutes before 9 uh, so that you can uh, uh, take part in our discussion. We're also going to be having kind of a mini uh, workshop. We'll ask you some, uh, some questions about some of the uh, findings that we found. Okay? So... Let's go ahead and break into our groups, guys. Again, jump in if you have any questions. Unmute your microphone. I'll be online listening for any comments as, as well as checking messages in Microsoft Chat. Hey, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Uh, we'll be starting here in a few minutes around 9 o'clock. We'll begin our presentation sharing some of our research results. Uh, Dr. Luis Humberto and I will be presenting uh, for the remainder of the class. But I want to make sure that all of you are able to access the Notion page where I've listed uh, some, some criteria for you to consider, some things to think about when you're preparing for your roundtable discussion. So we've been working a lot with trying to get really good questions. So the list of three to four questions for each class Right? Um, those are the questions that you can consider, that you should consider uh, asking during your roundtable event. All right? So when you're thinking about uh, preparing for the event, all right? So each person should ask at least one question. Remember to include a setup. We've talked uh, and practiced some about how to provide context. So make sure that you try to set up each question, each initial question. And also make sure that you try to have at least one follow-up question, 
All right, so a follow-up question is going to be a question based on an answer, some answer that your teammate provides. All right, so um, the each person should ask an initial question. That's the first question, right, with a setup. After the initial setup, anyone else can, f can provide a follow-up question. Okay, it doesn't have to be the same person that asked the initial question. This is... Uh, to hope, hopefully provide uh, some spontane spontaneity with the discussion, right? So if someone wants to ask a follow-up question, they can do that and try to have at least one follow-up question and make sure that each question has a setup, All right? So you, uh, you, can, you can decide beforehand who's going to ask each question or you can just have a list of some ideas of things you want to ask about and provide questions naturally. All right, so this should be as conversational as possible. Try to be specific. A lot of the feedback that I was providing this morning related to not only including the three aspects that we've talked about, being reflective, specific behavior, and a specific ICT, but it should also try to be about uh, the class, but some specific aspect of the class, all right? In general, some of the questions can be more specific. So if you think, if you're asking questions like, well, what strategies? How do you feel about using strategies in the class? Maybe mention the type of strategy, like mention what the strategy or strategies are that you're referring to in the question. I would mention those specifically. If you use words like, uh, how do you feel about using technologies in the class? Instead of using the word technologies, maybe you mention the platform, the app, the website that you're referring to for that particular class. Think about the specific behavior, right? Maybe it's related to some certain type of skill. Maybe it's, some, it's related to um, a particular aspect of critical thinking, like you're Maybe you're comparing things, maybe you're synthesizing things, maybe you're summarizing things, you're uh, summarizing ideas. These are some words that you can also include in, in, your, um, in your questions. Okay, so the reason I, we're, I'm asking that everyone be more specific in the questions is so that hopefully your discussions will turn out to be more specific. And usually the more specific and descriptive, the better. All right, so we're going to get started here in a few minutes. We're still waiting for uh, Luis Humberto to join us. I hope he, sh he should be able to join us as I've added him to the class. So we'll wait a few more minutes. We'll try to get started here right at 9 o'clock. We still have a few minutes now, though. If you have any questions, feel free to jump right in and ask away. Any questions, my friends? So after the questions that we are gonna that we are gonna ask, uh, the following questions um, are like uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, we we have to ask the questions like the main questions and then a following question and and what could be after it. Uh, all right, so after, after someone asks a follow-up question, right, and no one else wants to add any more follow-up questions, right, because you're going to be listening as a team, right? So if someone says something, provides an answer, and someone else says, oh, well, I need, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I want to ask, I want to find out a little bit more about what that person said, right, then you're going to be encouraged to ask additional questions. Now, if it comes to a point where no one has additional follow-up questions, then the next person who is going to ask an initial question needs to jump in and and try to begin now with a setup and then the next initial question. So remember, the initial question is going to be the first question um, and and the questions that we've been working on all week those are all potential initial questions. Obviously, the follow-up questions, we don't know what those follow-up questions are going to be because we have to listen to the answers and then create the follow-up right there on the spot. 
But yeah, once you have, <clears throat> have finished asking any of the follow-up questions, then the next person who hasn't provided an initial question needs to jump in and provide the setup and then the next initial question, right? And then a follow-up and so on. Hey, does that does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, and and just quickly, mm -hmm. uh, um, the questions, um, I, I don't know, those questions are gonna be like just a guide for us. I, I mean, do we have to use? I think we don't have to use all the questions. That that's correct. And here's the thing, guys. Like I, I, I'm I want I'm working a lot with you to help you with these questions. But if you don't ask all of the questions, and you ask another question that's not in, in on the list, that's okay too. This whole purpose of creating the questions are two things, right? One is well to check your grammar, right? That we're cr constructing grammatically correct uh, questions, and number two that I'm, I want to try to help you find very specific on-topic ideas. Okay. And so I hope that working three days, four days on these questions, all of you have a pretty good idea, hopefully, of the specific aspects of what you want to ask about, what you want to answer, and what you want to talk about. Okay, So this is a guide. And again, yes, it's not necessary if you use that you ask every question. And I'm not going to be checking to, to see, oh, you ask a question in the roundtable that's not on the list. No, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. No. Okay. It's clear. Yeah. All right.